What's up guys, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. If you found this video, you're probably searching for how to use the Nissan DVD entertainment system in your Nissan video. Today, I'm gonna walk you through setting it up, putting a DVD player in, showing you how to use that and the headphones, adjusting the monitors, and also connecting a video game console at the end. This will help keep your kids quiet on those long road trips. Let's get started. So this is gonna to apply to the Nissan Pathfinder, the Nissan Armada, everything with the DVD entertainment system and that Tri-Zone entertainment system. It will also apply if you're an Infinity owner, QX80, QX60 that has the DVD entertainment system. Let's get started here. And don't forget guys, subscribe to Cars Unlocked if you learned something here today. I like to do how to's on how to work your vehicle and how to operate your Nissan vehicles. I also do driving reviews. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram, at Weekend. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. If you're having trouble with anything in your Nissan video, shoot me a comment and I can make a video for you so that you can get it working. Let's get started using the DVD players. There's three monitors here, the front monitor and the two in the headrest, which we're gonna zoom out and show you in a second. It's really important to note, you can only play on this front monitor when the parking brake is on. So I have the parking brake unlocked. You can play DVDs, you can also play things through the HDMI, like video game consoles, which we're gonna get to in a second. But for now, we're gonna pop a DVD player, DVD in here, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So today's DVD of choice is John Wick Chapter Two. Hopefully you're a fan of the John Wick movies. If you're not a fan, I recommend it. Tons of action. You'll feel for your dog, you'll love your dog a little more after watching these movies. Keanu Reeves makes a comeback. Let's pop it right into the DVD player here. And you're gonna see it's instantly reading and loading the disc. It will take a minute for the disc to recognize. And now you can see the DVD is playing. So it's starting with the warnings and the previews. And I'm just gonna skip ahead a bit so we're a little moved on here, but now it's playing on the main center screen. You can only use this screen when it's in park. You may want to play it on the rear screens here for your passengers because this screen is very, very small. And if you're driving, you can put the DVD on the rear screens. How you would go about doing that is you would hit the media button down here on your center console and this menu will come up. You can see it shows both screens. Right now it's on aux. I want to hit each screen and at the bottom hit select rear source and I want to change it from aux to DVD and then I want to hit the right screen and also select it for the DVD. Now if we zoom out and just give it a minute here it should show up on both the rear monitors here for your passengers to watch. So you should see the movie there, it's playing now. I'm gonna come around to the back and show you how to use the headphones and everything else. So now the video is playing and it's playing through the car speakers. If that's fine with you, great. But maybe you wanna to listen to the radio while you drive and have your kids in the back listen to the DVD. Well, Nissan gives you these two headphones and they just need to connect them and turn them on. They connect wirelessly and then you can select it so that the music and the video plays right through the headphones. They can connect them or they can plug right into the headphone jack down below. So maybe the DVDs aren't enough. They finished John Wick 2. You're still driving. The kids are getting restless. You might want to give them something else to do. You can connect a video game console so that they can have endless hours of entertainment back here and that will keep them occupied. Today's video game console you're going to be connecting is the Nintendo Switch. So the only thing, you you're, have to have a console that uses an HDMI cord. Uh, older consoles like N64 or PlayStation that have the um, audio video cables aren't going to connect. You can use the the HDMI and you just need to plug it in down below plug the power in and plug your HDMI in and then I was on DVD so I just need to use the remote here or you can do it right from the front that I showed you before and you can hit the home button and see how it says select source I can just go to HDMI here 
and then I just need to turn my console on. And there we go, we're rocking the Nintendo Switch. And we can start playing. You can see here I have all my games that I can select. They want to play Donkey Kong, whatever the kids want to play. They can play it right on the Switch. So what if one of your children wants to play the Nintendo Switch and the other one wants to watch a DVD? Well, that's no problem. You can play each different source right from each different monitor. So one can play on this screen and the other can watch the DVDs on the other screen. All you have to do is use the remote. The remote has a little doggo up here and you can control your right screen and your left screen by flipping it over. But if I want to leave the video games on the left screen and put the DVD on the right screen, I just need to flick it over to the right screen, go back to that home menu and hit my source here where it will say DVD. And then the DVD is going to continue playing, still John Wick 2 that we had in before. And now you can see I can play video games on this screen and watch the DVD on the other. On the headphones, they have a selector here right on the headphones for a left and a right. And you just pick which monitor you want each headphone to display the audio out of. You can also plug in right to the original headphone jack in the center stack here. So that's all for now, guys. Hopefully this helped and you can get your DVD entertainment set up. If you have any questions or you're having trouble, just ask me in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks so much. As always, subscribe to Cars Unlocked and I'll be doing more how-tos, more car reviews, more test drive reviews. Always trying to post better content for you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something from this video. But for now, I have some levels to be in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and we got to watch some John Wick too. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. Thank you.